Good afternoon from Samunye Eswatini, formerly known as Swaziland, Southeast Africa. We are in a beautiful garden environment and this video is all about travel sacrifices and a crazy journey to Richards Bay, South Africa. Let's go. So as I said in the intro, this video is all about travel sacrifices and a journey to Richards Bay, which we will get into as the video goes along. But I wanted to take a minute uh, as we start the video to tell you a little bit about sort of how Nelly and I go about planning our backpacking trips. And sometimes you have to make sacrifices, which sucks, but at the same time, it creates an opportunity for a, another destination or another experience that, you know, maybe is higher on your priority list. So, for Nelly and I on this backpacking adventure, we had two and a half months to experience Madagascar, Mozambique, South Africa, Lesotho, and Swaziland. And as we were planning those two and a half months, you know, you you start to sort of realize that if you want to spend a certain amount of time in one location, you maybe have to take off an amount of time in a different location. And unfortunately for us, we've had to cut our time here in Eswatini and Swaziland, and as well as Lesotho further down the road in order, sorry, it's a bit windy, to spend more time on the South African coast in, uh, in sort of the Eastern Cape and a bit further north into Zululand. So here in Iswatini, uh, formerly known as Swaziland, we have only been able to get about three days and it's really not a lot of time because we arrived yesterday evening and we've had this whole day in uh, Simunye, uh, which is en route to the border crossing that we want to take, uh, which is like Southern Swaziland and really, really difficult to get to. And we've been sort of planning most of today on how we're gonna get to South Africa tomorrow so we really haven't been able to explore Swaziland at all and that as a traveler is really tough for me because you know I like to explore new destinations and new locations and to have new experiences and to get to know a culture of a, of a destination and we really have not been able to do that here um, which again is a sacrifice to spend more time in South Africa with our lifestyle as digital nomads full-time travelers independent uh, location independent uh, professionals we need to organize our time so that we have a couple days at least in each destination to be able to connect with the internet to answer emails um, to get work done for editing these videos and photographs etc uh, for stock agencies and the list goes on so I think most of you who watch that understand this and in order to create that time we needed to cut out Swaziland ah, sounds so bad to say but that is the truth of the matter so that is a little bit of insight into our travel sacrifices and uh, let's continue right now though from here in Samunye we're going to jump on public transport super early tomorrow because we have a crazy hectic journey to get down to Richards Bay and all that starts right now. Good morning, it is just before 7 a.m. and Nelly and I are walking to the bus stop here in Samunye. Yeah, today we have a really hectic and kind of crazy journey ahead of us all the way to Richards Bay in South Africa. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how far it is, but on the map we're going to like a relatively uh, less traveled part of Swaziland. So I think from what we figured out yesterday, we're gonna have to take about three different uh, mini buses, like Local public buses, transport. Yeah. And uh, that is going to be an experience. It's so interesting. <laughs> yeah, let's see how that goes. It all starts right now, 7 a.m. How many hours to get to Richards Bay? Uh, my guess is six. All right, the journey begins. So 
Sunday morning is clearly not the best day to be traveling here in Eswatini. This bus here with only Greg and I in it right now is meant to be full before we leave and we're thinking about offering the driver a little bit more just to leave earlier. So see how that goes. So traveling in Southern Africa as a backpacker often uh, takes a lot more time uh, than other places because you end up in these little sort of mini buses and uh, the idea is that they're all on certain routes and the drivers will wait until the bus is full uh, before they go, which makes perfect sense, but it tends to take a while to fill up the mini buses. So there's no uh, set times, you know, there's no real, uh, I guess, organization. It's more just kind of first come first serve. And the prices are great, but the travel times and the waiting is uh, much, much longer. So that six hours that Nelly said to Richards Bay, we'll see, we'll see about that. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Start the clock right now. <laughs> And we're on the bus. The guys have graciously decided to leave with a lot less people. Even though we paid double the amount, we are en route to go to Matata. Bye bye bye. Ciao eh. Ciao. Ciao. Hello hello. Hello. La vomisa. All right. Yes. My name is Greg. Yeah, I'm Karim. All right, <laughs> let's go. So we are officially in South Africa, back. It feels really, really good. And uh, this is the third part of our journey. So we just crossed into uh, KwaZulu Natal province in the far northeast of South Africa. This is Peter. Hello. Yes, sir. He gave us a ride from the border to Richards Bay, which is awesome because there's no public transport. So we throw him a couple hundred rand, which I think is a great price for an hour and a half drive. And uh, yeah, we're in the car. Part three of the journey. Part three of the journey. Next stop, Richard Bay. And we 
we've made it. We're here in Richards Bay in uh, this hotel, which is really nice. You booked it, so thank you. Oh, that's great. That's okay. Yeah, the journey took about, what, seven hours? It's two o'clock now. Yeah, it's two o'clock now. We left at 7 a.m., yeah, so that's seven hours. just over what I thought, six mm, hours. But yeah. we also waited for an hour in the beginning, so that's... So six hours exactly. Nice. Yeah, yeah count on the German to be exactly correct. <laughs> we made it. Uh, but yeah, kind of a... Uh, a cool adventure for sure to go from the public transport in Swaziland in sort of stages uh, to eventually get to the border. Uh, there's nobody really at the border. We walked no, across. We, just, we got lucky. I yeah, think we maybe. got really lucky that mm. this guy wanted to give us a ride. Yeah, we walked across the border. There was no public transport on the other side and we met Peter at the border and uh, he asked us where we're going. He said Richards Bay. Uh, he charged us 200 Rand, which is about 12 euros for a two hour journey yeah. right to the doorstep. And he so, fill his uh, tank up with that, put some gas in Yeah, he it. said he can fill up his tank for one week with the money that we gave him to drive us right here. So yeah. shout out to you, Peter, if you're watching this. That was awesome. We're here now. Um, normally I would continue the vlog and go and shoot sunset, but it's really overcast today. And uh, yeah, it's just not really the best weather. Yeah. So when you're making vlogs like this, sometimes the weather doesn't play out for you. And today is one of those days. So. Yeah, and we have the next adventure, the next road trip lined up tomorrow. We're going to pick up a car, rent a car. And we're going north a bit. Yeah, a to St. Lucia, a place I've wanted to go for a long time. St. Lucia, South Africa. It's got one of the biggest breeding grounds for hippos and uh, crocodiles. Yeah, I think that's going to be great. So yeah, that's going to be really cool. Stay tuned for that. That's coming up next. But, yeah, we hope you like this video about the uh, travel sacrifices. Kind of sad, but it needs to be stated because that's what happens when you're planning these trips. Absolutely. Uh, and that adventure today to Richards Bay. But here we are back in South Africa. So I will stop rambling away. As uh, always, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. And we see you on the next one. Bye.